Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to enable or disable the Steam input. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, go to properties, go to the controller tab. Over here, you can select disable Steam input. Now launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even enable Steam input, relaunch the game and then check. Check which one is working fine for you. Still not working, then select the controller which you want to use then restart steam and then start the game now for this you can type in setup usb game controllers over here and then uh, yeah click on uh, click on setup usb game controller type in usb game controllers in windows search box click on it and over here if you see your controller over here then go to advanced option now click on advanced option over here and then select the controller which you want to use and then click on ok and then restart the game now still not working the next step is to go to human interface devices in device manager make a right click go to device manager expand human interface devices now over here if you see your uh, if you find any kind of uh, like key chrome keyboard or mouse you can make a right click and disable it this is just an example i don't have it so this is just an example make a right click if you find a uh, key chrome keyboard or mouse over there disconnect external keyboard or mouse if you have key key chrome keyboard connected you can disconnect it disconnect key chrome dongle if connected disconnect any kind of usb adapter or dongle connected to the computer disconnect razor tartarus unplug simming hardware disconnect external devices if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like vjo etc you can uh, if you have any other virtual joystick application installed you can disable it or uninstall it and then relaunch the game and then check playstation controller user enable it in uh, control panel control uh, sound control panel now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to hardware and sound and then click on sound over here now you have to use the wired connection so make sure that you connect your controller using the usb cable now once you connect your controller using the usb cable you you should be able to see your controller make a right click and then if this is disable you have to enable it and then make a right click configure speaker quadrophonic click on next make sure from uh, front left and right surround speaker both are checked over here and then click on next click on finish now you can relaunch the game and then check use wired connection so connect your controller using the usb cable to the computer and then use the wired connection and then relaunch the game next step is to playstation controller user use ds for windows you can install this application if you can uh, you can if you already have it you can just uh, launch it if you don't have it search in google install it configure and then launch the game next step is to update controller using playstation or xbox accessories app so if you have xbox controller open xbox app and you can go to the search option so in the search box you can type in xbox accessories app over here and then click on xbox accessories and you have to connect your controller using the usb cable uh, first of all install it if not installed you can install it and then launch xbox accessories app and then you have to use wired connection um, so make sure that you connect your controller using the cable to the computer and once connected uh, let me connect once connected you it will detect your controller now click on more options click on these three dots and then go to update if there is any update you will see update option over here and then update your controller and once the update is complete relaunch the game and then check similarly uh, if if you have xbox uh, sorry playstation controller in that case you can install this playstation accessories app so you can go to playstation website go to the official website and then you will see download for windows option you can uh, run this exe file install it on your computer and once the installation is done you can launch xbox accessories app in my case it is already installed launch it now once you launch the controller you have to connect your controller 
Now, once you connect your controller, it will detect your controller. And then if there is, you will see update option over here. So uh, in my case, it's already up to date. So update it and then you can launch the game and then you can check. Now, still not working. Uh, the next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. So you can go to Steam. Uh, when you go to Steam at the top right here, you can see big picture mode icon. Click on big picture mode icon. Now, once the Steam is in big picture mode, you can launch the game from here and then check. Now, so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.